Oh God, I plead it, I plead it. There's power in the blood of Jesus. Hey, there's power in the blood of Jesus. This means war. Ah, uh, we bless God. Ah, uh, bless you, Tawana. We bless God for you, Tawana. We're praying for your sister. We give you got her in prayer. Hallelujah. We've declared war on the devil. Hallelujah. She will live and not die. Hey, hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Oh, praise his name. Have you declared war on the devil today? Because ah. there's power in the blood of Jesus. Ah, yes. Ah, bless his name. Oh, bless his name. Yeah, God. You bless God, the miracle worker and power of God still working. Woo -hoo. Ah, we bless God. Hallelujah. Ah, yes. Well, we bless God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. This means war. Amen. Saints of God, we praise God for the miracle working power of God. Amen. We praise God for the miracle working power of God. And we thank God for what God is doing. We've been praying for a dear sister down in Maryland. And I tell you, God is doing the work. Amen. We praise God for the work. We praise God for the miracle. Amen. It's the, through the blood of Jesus that these things work. Amen. And we thank God for the blood. Turn in your Bibles. If you have your Bibles, I, I, I feel the Holy Ghost. My God. Hallelujah. Turn in your Bibles. Genesis chapter 25. And I want to deal with the subject just for a little while. The, not for sale. Ah, look at your neighbor. Somebody look and tell them, I'm not for sale. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 25, beginning at verse 20 and ending at verse 34. It says these words. It reads like this. Praise the name of God. And Isaac was 40 years old when he took Rebekah to wife, the daughter of Bethuel, the Syrian of Pandaram, the sister of Laban, the Syrian. All oh, praise God. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because he she was barren. And the Lord was entreated of him. And Rebekah, his wife, conceived. And the children struggled together within her. And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said unto her, two nations are in your womb. And two manner of people shall be separated from your bowels. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. And the elder shall serve the younger. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. And they called his name Esau. And after that came his brother out. And his hand took hold on Esau's heel. And his name was called Jacob. And Isaac was threescore years old, which is 60 years old, when she bore him. Amen. And the boys grew. And Isaac was a cunning hunter and a man of the field. And Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. Isaac loved Jacob, but because he did eat of his venison. But Rebekah loved Jacob. Amen. Isaac loved Esau, excuse me, because he did eat of his venison. But Rebekah loved Jacob. And Jacob sawed pottage, and, and, which is a stew. And Esau came from the field and he was faint. Esau said to Jacob, feed me. I pray you with that same red pottage. And I am, for I am faint. Therefore his name was called Edom. And Jacob said, sell me this day your birthright. Mm. Remember that, verse 31. And Jacob said, sell me this day your birthright. And Esau said, behold, I am at the point to die. And what profit shall this birthright do to me? And Jacob swore to me this day, and he swore unto him, and he sold his birthright unto Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage and lentils, and he did eat and drink and rose up and went his way. 
Thus Esau despised his birthright. Going back up to verse uh, verse 31, and Jacob said, sell me this day your birthright. And Esau said, behold, I am at the point to die. What proper shall this birthright do for me? Verse 33, and Jacob swear to me this day, and he swore unto him, and he sold his birthright unto Jacob. Hallelujah. That's then again, that's Genesis chapter 30, chapter 25, verses 20 to 34. Not for sale. As we see here in the scriptures, we see uh, two children that were born and promised to Rebekah, already at war in the womb. They were already fighting even before birth came out. Uh, the Bible says they were twins. Uh, a birthright means here the scripture talks about a birthright. It talks about special privileges. Amen. Special privileges of the firstborn. Amen. Uh, behold, uh, a double share of the father's inheritance. Beloved, we have a birthright in Jesus. Jesus has given us a birthright. And I say to you today, I come to stop by these airways and let you know you're not for sale. Let the devil know I'm not for sale. Uh, as a descendant of Abraham, the birthright was a covenant and a blessing. Uh, we have a covenant with Jesus Christ is our birthright. Uh, and we cannot sell out for what the devil has to offer. Uh, to sell the birthright, the God-given birthright is to sign your own spiritual death. When you sell out on your birthright, you are signing your own death warrant. Oh, praise the name of God. See, Christians have a birthright. Uh, and their birthright is simply the fruits of the spirit. Uh, the birthright is peace, love, joy, redemption, justification, sanctification. Oh, praise the name of God. Judas Iscariot sold out for 30 pieces of silver. Demons forsook his soul in prison. Uh, our birthright should never ever be even thought of being sold or given up for any price that the world has to offer. Uh, we should not want to sell out our birthright. We should not want to sell out what God has for us. For what God has for us is for us. Amen. Uh, a lot of good things in the world have been appraised and value has, there's values to a lot of good things, but the value of a birthright of the state of God cannot possibly, no way can be appraised to the silver or the gold of this world. Uh, any price should be too cheap for the birthright of the child of God. And I'm just about through. But I want you to know today, don't sell your birthright. Don't be like Esau, like Jacob Esau was to Jacob and sell out your birthright. There are legions of demons everywhere uh, trying to persuade men and women in the faith to sell out. You must hold on like Nebuch did. We said, I'm going to hold on to the arms of the altar uh, until God comes. We must be determined never to sell out for any reason. And when, 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 when Sleuthford or no Sleuthford offers you anything for your birthright, tell the devil I'm not for sale. Oh, uh, when he comes by selling, want to offer you money and want to offer you a big fancy church. Hello, preachers. Want to offer you a big fancy church. Tell that old sleuth what I'm not for sale. I will not sell my birthright. Uh, when you have the chance to acquire worldly gain for a different walk of life that will pull you away from the house of God, tell the devil I'm not for sale. Uh, you see, the Bible tells us in Mark 8, 36, uh, what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world uh, and lose his soul? It's time for us to stand up and realize and declare war on the devil and let the devil know I will not sell out. You might offer me the silver and you might offer me the gold, but I won't sell out. You might offer me things that, that may look good to my eyes and taste good to my taste buds. But I won't sell out them. We got to tell the devil I won't sell my birthright. For I've got an inheritance. I got an inheritance. I've got an inheritance in the Lord. And my inheritance is eternal life.
Oh, praise the name of God. My inheritance is eternal life. Uh, don't sell out. Let the devil know I'm not for sale. I don't care what you throw at me, Slewfoot. I'm not for sale. I will not sell out. You can throw a Cadillac at me, I won't sell out. You can throw a house on the hill at me, I won't sell out. Because I'm not for sale. Hallelujah. You can throw a church of million thousand people at me. But I'm not for sale. My gospel will not change. My message will not change. For God I live and for God I die. I'll preach holiness until Jesus comes. I'll preach holiness until I take my last breath. For I heard the Bible declare without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. It's time to stop selling out. Beloved, we got so many preachers today. We got so many pastors today that have sold out. We got so many people today that have sold out. They sold out for a mega ministry. Hallelujah. I was at the hospital on the yesterday praying for a pastor and a preacher. Amen. And I went as I was exiting the hospital. Praise God. And I, I was backing into another room. And, and when I walked into the room to pray for this particular young lady, the mother said to me after I finished praying, she said, I contacted my pastor three times and he has not gotten here. That's a pastor that are sold out. Mm. Hello. That's a pastor that are sold out. See, I ain't got no problem at calling them out. I ain't got no problem at calling them a spade a spade. When you have not sold out, a soul is more important than a church. Hello, somebody. When you have not sold out, a soul is more important paycheck. Oh, man, praise the name of God. Amen. Preachers, it's time to stop selling out. It's time to stop selling out. And it's time for you to say, for God I live and for God I die. Don't be like Jacob, Esau, and sold out. Amen. Sold his birthright. I refuse to sell my birthright. I refuse to give up what God has given to me and promised to me. I am not going to sell out. I'm going to get all that God has for me. All that and more. Because I have an inheritance. And that inheritance is promised to me. That inheritance belongs to me. And I won't sell my birthright. Oh, I encourage you today. You that are watching by Facebook Live, you that are watching by Ustream, I encourage you today, don't sell your birthright. Don't sell your inheritance for, for, for a meal, for a meal ticket. Hello, somebody. Don't sell your inheritance for a meal ticket. Hallelujah. Don't sell out, but hang in there. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. Hold on to what you've been taught and what has been instilled in you. Amen. Because there is no other God besides the one and only God that can bring you out of whatever you're going through, that can bring you out of whatever you've got on your mind, that can, that can bring you peace in the midnight hour, that can bring you joy in the midst of sorrow. Hey, have to bring you money when you're broke and health when you're sick. But when you sell your birthright, oh, bless your name, you sold in your life. You have put a you put a a, 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 a a price on your life. Oh, praise God. Don't sell out. Don't sell your birthright. Hold on to your birthright. Because when it's all over, hallelujah, when it's said and done, we're going to put on our robe and shout the glory over. Don't sell out. Just hold on. Don't sell out. Just hold on. Hallelujah. God bless you, Ernest Larry. Just hold on, Ernest Northern Larry. Hallelujah. Don't sell out, but hold on. Amen. Because help is already on the way. Asa, Esau sold his birthright to Jacob. He sold his blessings. I'm not selling nothing to the devil because I don't like him. Hallelujah. In our last song that we played, this means war. This means war. And I plead the blood on the devil. I plead the blood on sickness. I plead the blood on property. Because this means war. Because I know who I am. And when you know who you are in Christ, when you know what you know that you know that you know that you know, hallelujah, the windows of heaven will open. Things will be released to you. Hallelujah. And God will come through. Don't sell your birthright. Let the devil know. Put a sign on your forehead, on your chest, wherever, and let the devil know, not for sale. 
I am not for sale. I'm already sold. I'm purchased by the blood. I'm bought with a price, the blood of Jesus Christ. I am not for sale. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God for the word. I'm not for sale. I'm not for sale. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the name of God. Don't sell out. Don't sell out in your marriage. And say to God, I need to drop this in your spirit. Hallelujah. This week coming, we know it's that evil holiday. I won't even honor the devil in calling that name. That evil holiday is here. It's coming. Don't sell out to the evil holiday. Amen. Put a note on your door. No candy here. Not for sale. The blood of Jesus lives here. Don't sell out. It's time not. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Now I know why I had to preach this message today. Don't sell out. Don't sell out. Let the devil know. Hallelujah. I am not for sale. I will not sell my soul. I will not sell my soul. What profits a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? What does it profit you to gain the whole world and lose your soul? What does it profit you to gain the whole world and lose your soul? Because your soul will be required on judgment day. I come to bring you some good news for you who are watching. If you haven't made your peace with God, if, if you have not accepted Christ. Now, I'm not talking about going to church. Because let me tell you something. You can sign your name on a piece of paper and shake a donkey's tail. You uh -huh. might get into heaven quicker, but I doubt it. It's about having a personal interpersonal relationship with Jesus Christ and then living the life that the Bible requires us to live. Not the life I say, but the life that the Bible requires us to live. Not just coming to church on Sunday. We got a lot of Sunday so-called saints. Did I, ooh, did I say something? We got a lot of saints that go to church just on Sunday and then Monday they're on the dance floor. Ooh, did I say something? But it's a 365-day walk with Jesus. Seven days a week. 12 hours a day. 48 hours a day. All day long. All night long. To walk with Jesus. Yeah, we sing that song. I've sung it in the past. I want Jesus to walk with me. And guess what? You ain't even walking with him. Why don't you walk with Jesus? Why don't you walk with Jesus? I want to give you the opportunity right now to accept Christ as your personal savior. I'm not talking about joining this ministry. I'm not looking for members. Right now, this is just a ministry. But I'm asking for you to get to know who Jesus is. If you don't know Jesus, if you have never accepted Jesus, hallelujah, if you never have accepted him as your personal savior, you don't have that intimate relationship like a man has with a wife and a wife has with her husband. I'm inviting you right now to accept Christ right now. And it's easy. It's no big issue. It's, it's no hard thing. It ain't about shaking my hand. Amen. It ain't about standing before the church and asking for the vote of the church. I can care less about the vote of the church. It's about you having a relationship and knowing Jesus for yourself. Not on mama's faith, not on daddy's faith, not on auntie's faith, not on grandma's faith, but on your own two feet. My grandma used to always say, every tub must stand on its own base. So I want to invite you right now to accept Jesus Christ as your personal savior. If you sold your birthright, you can now reclaim it. And as simple as this, simple as asking the Lord, confessing to the Lord, I am a sinner. Forgive me of my sin. Make me a new creature. I now accept Jesus as Lord of my life and I accept him as my personal savior. I turn my back on sin as at this moment. And I stand and live for righteousness. Now, the Bible says, now, if you prayed that prayer, if you repeated that with me, or you prayed that with me, the Bible says this in Romans chapter 10. It says, if thou shalt confess with your mouth and believe in your heart 
that Christ has been raised from the dead. God bless you, Sister Terry Briggs. Thou shalt be saved. For with the mouth confession is made, and with the heart man believeth unto salvation. Now, if you prayed that prayer for the first time, you've never prayed a prayer like that before. I want you to write me at my email address. I want to get some very important, pertinent information into your hands. That email address is worship, word, and praise tabernacle at outlook.com. That's worship, word, and praise tabernacle at outlook.com. Put in the subject line salvation and then leave me a little memo saying that you received Christ and leave me your contact information where I can mail to you some very pertinent information to help you grow in the Lord. I'm not looking for members. I'm looking for souls. I'm out for souls. I'm out for souls. I'm out for souls. So if you prayed that prayer with me and you've accepted Christ as your personal savior, amen, write me at my email address. That's worship, word, and praise tabernacle at outlook.com. We want to hear from you. Either way, we want to hear from you. We want to know that you're viewing the broadcast. Don't forget, amen, don't forget to visit our website page. Amen. Visit our website page at Worship Word and Praise. Worship Word and P-R-A-I dot Wix site. W-I-X-S like Sam, I-T-E dot com backslash tabernacle. Visit our website. That's Worship Word and P-R-A-I dot w i x s like sam i t e dot com backslash tabernacle visit our website you will be blessed visit our youtube page if you miss any part of this message you can visit our youtube page in about an hour it'll be posted there as well as well as the rest of the messages that we have preached amen in the past and in and uh, not too long ago god bless you we thank god for you joining us today Amen. We thank God for you being with us today. Amen. It is a blessing, hallelujah, for you to join us. Praise God. It's a blessing for you to join us. We're getting ready to leave you now. But before we leave you, praise God. Amen. We want to pray the prayer of faith. Maybe you have a need in your life. Maybe you have a need in your life. Maybe you need healing in your body. Maybe you need a financial breakthrough. Maybe you have a broken in your heart. You've had a broken heart and a broken spirit. Amen. I want to pray the prayer of faith. And I want to believe God today that God is going to break the chains and loose the shackles. Hey, hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, just reach out to the screen. Now, if you're me by, by Facebook Live, don't touch the screen because it'll black out. Just stretch your hand towards the screen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father God, in the Jesus name, we come today as I stretch out my hands over these airways. Whatever the need is right now, we ask God, we release healing in the name of Jesus. We bind cancer. I don't know why I'm going there. We come against the demon of cancer. We come against that demon of diabetes. We come against that demon, hallelujah, oh God of asthma, in the name of Jesus. And we cast it back to the pits of hell. That Alzheimer's spirit, we bind you right now and we cast you back to the pits of hell. For the scripture declared that the memory of the just is blessed. So God, we thank you right now. God, whatever the needs of the people that are viewing, we ask right now that you meet the need. We release the power of God and we release, release it in Jesus' name. We call it so and we decree it so. For you say in your word, we decree a thing. It shall come to pass. So God, we decree it. And we believe it to be so. It is so. In Jesus' name, it is so. Hallelujah. God bless you, Sister Joyce. Amen. We thank God for Sister Joyce Ellis all the way from the Pocono Mountain viewing us by Facebook Live. Amen. We praise God for you today. Amen. If you missed any part of this message, you can also you can view it on YouTube. In about an hour, it'll be posted on YouTube. Remember our, our email address is Worship Word and Praise Tabernacle at Outlook.com. Write us there. Let us know that your beautiful broadcast has been a blessing to you. You have a prayer request, put it in the subject line, prayer request. Amen. If you have, if you, if you accept the Christ, put in the subject line, salvation, and leave us your um, uh, contact information so we can get the information to you. Amen.
Don't forget to visit our website page. Amen. God bless you, Bishop Atkins, viewing us. Amen. Amen. By way of Facebook Live, my good friend. Amen. Uh, visit our website page at worship word and worship word and P R A I dot Wix. That's W I X S like Sam I T E dot com at out at backslash tabernacle. Amen. That's worship word and P R A I dot Wix site dot com backslash tabernacle. Visit our website page. I guarantee, I guarantee you'll be blessed. Amen. Visit our our church uh, Facebook page as well. Amen. What Worship Word and Praise Tabernacle on Facebook. Amen. Visit my website page, Bishop Daryl Towns. Amen. If you're my friend, hit me up. Let me know that you viewed the broadcast. It's been a blessing. Amen. We praise God for you today. We're getting ready to leave the airways. Once again, we thank God for our chief apostle and Bishop Apostle Ellie Boston out of Jacksonville, Florida. Amen. Our first assistant, our Bishop uh, B.M. Perry. Amen. We thank God for him. Amen. We praise God for my good dear friend. Amen. Bishop uh, Glenn Atkins. Amen. 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 From uh, Philly. We praise God for him. We bless God for our minister. Amen. Our minister Northern. Amen. Uh, uh, um, Lord have mercy. I can't have called the name in so long, but we praise God for him. Amen. We thank God for him. We bless God for each one of you. Amen. That have viewed us. Remember, join us here next week. Join us here next week for a time of worship. Join us here as we praise God. Hallelujah. As we praise God and as we give God praise. Glory to God because we come to worship him. We come to give God praise. We come to magnify him. Hallelujah. For God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God, praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. God is good. Amen. So we praise God for you joining us today. And we bless God for you. Remember, you don't have any trouble. All you need is faith in God. For without faith, it is impossible to please him. So don't drown. Don't sing. Tie a knot in the end of the rope. And hold on. For help is on the way. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. And don't sell out. Remember the message. Not for sale. Oh, bless his name. Not for sale. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Not for sale. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. We love you. Amen. Meet us here next Sunday, 7 p.m. sharp, for a time of worship. Amen. Praise the name of God. God bless each and every one of you who have viewed us by way of our Minister Larry uh, Kearney's Facebook page. Amen. The Facebook Live page. God bless you today. We thank God for you joining us on a time of worship. Join us next Sunday, 7 p.m. I tell you, we're having a great time, and we thank God for you. Remember, visit our web. We want you also to visit our website page, Worship Word and Praise, P R A I dot Wix site, W I X S like Sam I T E dot com backslash Tabernacle. Amen. Jo visit our website. And you can view the message once again on YouTube. Praise the name of God. Visit us and let us know that you have enjoyed this message that you are viewing. Praise the name of God is also being posted as we speak to my Facebook page. Amen. Join us there. We love you. Amen. We praise God for you. And we thank God. We thank God. Amen. For our leading lady. And we praise God for her who sits by my side. As you continue to pray for us. Amen. As you continue to pray for us and continue to pray for her. Amen. And let God, as God continues to bless her above and beyond. And we praise God for you. Amen. If you have any prayer requests, send them to our email address. Worship Word and Praise Tabernacle at Outlook.com. I'm Bishop Daryl Towns, your host for a time of worship. God bless you.
Man, my speaker went out on me. What happened? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, five. I think I had about eight or nine. And it's crazy because it just took up all my space. We did it again. Glory to God, praise the name of God. Now, how do we feel about doing?